Go to the seats. Occupy the front seats, please. Um, and just sit down and relax and have fun. Um, I also encourage you, I mean, if it's not now, during the break, to get a love offering envelope. Uh, we're here to help Father Nila raise money to build his church in Guyana. He also has a music CD that you can purchase for only $10. It's a bargain. This CD, this CD is beautiful. And especially if you hear him sing, you would like to um, buy the CD.
Thank you. That was wonderful. All right. Uh, during the intermission, um, if you guys want to sing, if you have a CD or if you just want to make a cappella, you're welcome to sing during the intermission. We would love to hear from you. Anyway, um, our program says there's another uh, two performers, but they cannot make it tonight. So um, we will have Father Nila very, very soon. Um, my job is to introduce him. He's actually my cousin. But um, when God blessed our family with the musical genes, he got all of it. And maybe just a little for us. But um, that talent actually is now being used to share God's love and also to um, raise money for different causes. Father Nilo has sung in New Zealand, in Japan, in Canada, and also he was here five years ago in Tracy to uh, raise money for Typhoon victims in the Philippines. And wherever he goes, um, he always has a project. Uh, his first job, as, I mean, assignment as a missionary was in uh, Solomon Islands. Um, and there he founded a school because he said there, uh, especially for women, women were not encouraged to be educated. And so he founded a school there. But then the men said, how about us? We also want to be educated. So it became a, um, Coed School for Adults, and that's one of his um, uh, projects. Now he's based in Guyana, and he's in charge of four churches, and these churches are falling apart. I mean, we are so lucky to have this beautiful church uh, that we can go to. But there, you know, uh, they have this church that I will show you in a minute. Um, it only has a roof. The the uh, post is leaning like Tower of Pisa and there are no walls so when the rain comes everybody's wet so we need to adopt this church and so that's why we're here so without further ado or delay I would like to call Father Nilo God has put so many wonderful people in my path as I visit one city after another doing God's mission and what is done to build the church for, for his people. And first of all, I would like to thank Father David for the warm welcome. Uh, very grateful. Is, is Father David here? Oh, Jen. Oh, so anyway, and also thank you to St. Bernard's Charismatic Prayer Group and volunteers for your love you know, and support. Without you, I will not be here. And most of all, thank you, guests, for coming, sit back and relax and feel God's presence through my music. And my first song is just let's put ourselves in the presence of God. I will say the prayer that Jesus taught us. That is the Lord's Prayer, our Father.
activity. Of course, to honor our dear mother, the Virgin Mary, who is our model of obedience to God's call, and for our Redeemer, Jesus Christ, I'm not going to sing Ave Maria.
I keep on praying for hours, and it seems uh, God didn't hear my, my, my prayer. Uh, but, but after that, I said, okay, okay, Lord, uh, I'm ready. I, I had my act of contrition already. I had my act of contrition, and I said, okay, Lord, I'm ready to die. But I realized that I have, I, I have some people with me. We're two, uh, composed of, you know, two boats traveling together with, with some psychiatrists. And I realized that, you know, I said, Lord, okay, I'm not afraid to die. But can you please save these people because uh, they are families. And after that, something like, I was, okay, I, 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 I'm not afraid to die already. What I did to, is to, to remove my, my life vest, because I, I'm the only one who's wearing life vest. And I have to remove this and, I, and give it to, to my skipper, my driver. And you have to wear this. And he said, no, 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 Pateri. And I was, uh, I was already, something, you should wear it. So he, he says that he, he, he said that you uh, wore the life vest and said, okay, Lord, I'm ready to die. And, but after that, you know, the the the, the, the scene came come again, and uh, we were we were already out of that you know in the dark. But you know, I realized you know that when I travel, I always sing when I'm afraid. I always sing this song, "Be Not Afraid," just to calm myself. So I think I get I get to sing with this. Be not afraid song, although uh, I'm not really comfortable sitting with this minus one. Through it all. 
Okay, so I'll continue my 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 story. When we were in the, in the ocean, it said that uh, you know they were in the you know darkness, the storm. Something like it's forever, and there was no land in sight. But then we saw a small speck of something that was you know that was bubbling in the horizon, and we thought that it was just an imagination. I mean, it's just a bit, uh, my 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 skipper said, "Patere, look, look, look!" I mean, like. I thought, it's not, it's just, it's just an imagination. But it was the island that we were looking for. It was the island that we were looking for because, uh, you know, our compass already is uh, lost already. And that's why I keep on praying. And, and uh, my skipper said, look, Patira, look, there's, there's the, the, the island, right? Uh, I think it's just an imagination. But we were safe at last. You know, it was the island, island that we were, were, were our destination. But the sad thing was, you know, our companion, uh, we were two boats, and our the other boat was, was, was missing. And the question is, could they have drawn? They could they have drawn? You know, I was something like, I was uh, distraught for days because uh, I was guilt ridden. I was guilt ridden because it was my stubborn decision to proceed despite the storm, warning that caused me this mystery. And it was really, I. I cannot eat, I cannot sleep. So I think this time I'm gonna sing, You'll Never Walk Alone. <laughs> Oh 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Can we give Father Nila another big round of applause? Awesome, oh my gosh. He really got all the music to use in the family. So uh, we'll give him a short break. Uh, we'll call Jessari Akapan to sing us What a Feeling.
Estelle, and Andrew. Everybody, can you please give them a big round of applause?
now have uh, 15 minutes, 10 minutes uh, intermission. And one, we have our intermission, we'll be passing the basket. But before they pass the basket,
So I think it's time for me to to uh, say thank you. Thank you very much for. Uh, actually, I, I want I want to express my thanks to everyone individually, but I, I, I'm worried that I might miss something, so I just say thank you to everyone. But personally, I would like to thank my foster mother here. <laughs> She's here. Uh, I call her Tita. It's my Tita already, Tita uh, Mary Futija. And uh, something like, uh, you know, in the morning when I wake up, the, 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 the coffee is there on the table, you know, so, so I haven't been the, uh, I have this for a long time, uh, no one served me like that. So you know, I have I do my own thing, everything from from washing, from cooking, everything, opening the church and everything. So, so when I, uh, they ask me, well, you know, so did, did you sleep well last night? Oh yes, I said sound soundly. It's because for years I haven't uh, I haven't slept in this comfortable bed. So I can hear snoring. Uh, yeah, yeah, she, she heard me snoring. <laughs> So I think I'm going to I'm gonna sing this. Maybe you can you can you can sing with me. Give thanks. Okay. So, ready? Oh, anyway, we we're gonna skip because I'm worried about the again the the, 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 the our our minus one. So we're gonna sing. Give thanks.
Okay, so I'm going to have my last song for tonight. Uh, okay, I'm going to sing...
Jesus is our light, and may his light shine upon us and let that light that is within us light the world. And may I call uh, my prayer warriors, the St. Bernard's Charismatic Prayer Group, to join me on stage. And I'd like to, to uh, invite all of you to, to stand up and sing with us. The lyrics are on the screen. Raise your hands and your voices for the Lord. Okay. Okay, so these are my prayer warriors here. Uh, I really hope. Very excited to see you know? Maybe one, uh, maybe the next day they will be my backup singers <laughs> and dancers too. Oh gosh, I can just imagine. Uh, they, this, these people love to dance, you know. So I have when I when, my, when I uh, maybe my next visit, I should learn how to dance. Yeah. <laughs> There's something wrong. The, 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 the sound system doesn't want to cooperate. Um, Father, you can still tell them a story, right? <laughs> How about the story where you got almost stabbed with an arrow? That's a good one. Anyway, uh, this, this is uh, maybe uh, maybe funny, but uh, okay. In, in in the Melanesian culture, uh, uh, during during the mass special occasion. Uh, actually, the, the tribal chief uh, decided that no women can go to church with, with their pants. They should wear skirts, something like that. But you know, during offertory, you know, they, they during offertory they, they offer the uh, uh, they offer this this uh, offer offerings, and they dance. They dance. And you know what? Uh, but they dance topless. <laughs> topless, as in topless. Okay, topless. And uh, you know, a question is, okay, you don't want the women to wear pants, uh, but, uh, 
But how come, what, what, how come that uh, during offering the women has to go topless? Yeah, they dance and go, go to the altar with their offerings. And uh, the first time I, I experienced this event, I was standing in front of first, uh, uh, yes, waiting for their offerings. And we're, they were dancing topless, and I can't really, so I, I just, you know. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable, but later and I get used to it. But I, mm. <laughs> so that's a Melanesian culture. You know. And the, because they were dancing, and the bishop was, one time the bishop complained to me, next time you serve, you serve him. Okay, that's it already, okay? Because he is something like when the women dance, like, well, how come that is it one step forward and two step backward? <laughs> so it will take long before there is the altar. <laughs> okay, so it's ready. Okay, okay. Bye. 